don't forget that this tutorial is part of a series of tutorials which you can access on our YouTube playlist or alternatively if you would like to you can purchase the whole course on Udemy there should be a link to the YouTube playlist and a link to our Udemy course which should always provide the best price in the video description so now we have a baseline set of tables that we generated or Django models that we've generated in the previous exercise. So we're now ready to start to think about the features and functionalities that we can include to slowly work towards finalizing our set of Django models. In a few of our models, we've included the date time field. The date time field is a field which we want to automatically populate. We don't want to manually insert the date time field into this field. Actually, I'll step back there and say that we may want to edit this field, the date and the time in this field, but typically, at least initially, we would automatically generate the date and time for this field. Right, so if we navigate to the Django documentation, take a look at the date time field, we're told that by default, there are two attributes here, and that's the auto now and the auto now add. And you can see the default option or the default setting is false. So we can override both the auto now add and the auto now add. So we just need to work out what they're for. So let's start with the auto now add. So this option, if set to true, that will mean that the field will be set to the current date and time when the object is created only. Okay, so if we added a new item, a new record, sorry, to this table, in our database, it would mean that the date and time would be automatically added to this field and saved for that record. But any other time we update that record, it will not get updated. The second option is auto now. So if we set that to true, it will mean that every time we update a particular record, the date time field will automatically update to the current date and time. So all we need to do at this point is ask ourselves when and how often do we want the date to change? Now, this is a product. This is the created at. So we want to know when this product was created. So when we create a new product, add a new product into this table, of course, you want to store the date and time it was created. Now, we don't want that to be updated. So that means we're going to use the auto now add, which means that the date and time will be inserted when we create a record and then it won't change after that point. I've gone ahead and added a new field in the product table. That's the updated at. So this is a field where we want to store a record of when the product was last updated. So if we update a product, maybe the name or the description, we want to save a record of when that was saved. So this would be an instance where we would use the auto now and set that to true. If we take a look through all the other tables, I think there's only one other instance where we utilized date time field and that was in the seasonal events where in actual fact we want to manually specify the start and end date time so that is something that we need to consider once we start to think about administrating and adding data into our tables how we're going to do that that is going to be a manual entry so we'll discuss that later but the key point here is that we don't need to add the automatic creation or updating of this time date field so we can just leave that blank because remember the default setting is set to false what we might be careful of ensuring is that the user cannot easily update created at or updated at manually so we might want to remove these fields from the django admin which we will introduce at the end of this section of the course and potentially we don't want it to be to be available in any forms that are automatically generated from this model. So in addition to auto now add and auto now, we might also add editable force. We might set that to false. This is going to help prevent these fields from appearing in forms and the Django admin. 